Hi everyone, I hope you're feeling okay today. And if you're not feeling okay today, that's okay too, because we can't feel okay every day, every minute of our life. And you have to accept this, right? There's no need of being resistant when we feel sometimes down or angry or anxious or sad. That's part of us. Hmm? We don't have to indulge in those parts of our mind, hmm? in those emotions. But, you know, we can acknowledge them when they come. We say, oh, hi, here you are today. Where did you come from? Hmm? Where did this anger come from? Where did this sadness come from? At least, you know, embrace it, acknowledge that those feelings, that thoughts happen. That's normal. Hmm? And then you look at those thoughts about uh, those emotions and you decide what you're going to do with them. Do you want to indulge in those negative or unpleasant emotions all day? How much time do you want to give it? Five minutes, ten minutes, an hour? Do you want to allow those emotions to engage you so much that maybe you take out that anger, that sadness or that anxiety on another person? Mm, because that happens a lot, right? <laughs> or do you want to decide to stay a little bit with these feelings? Let them tell you something about yourself, your conditions. And then maybe you decide to let them go. Mm, because at the end, you prefer to feel okay, right? <laughs> so, you know, I mean, you've got it now that uh, I'm spending time close to the beach. And you know what I love to do? You know, sometimes when I have, like, I wake up in the morning and I worry about whatever, money or family or anything, relations, whatever we worry about. Mm? So I go down to the beach, I go for a walk, and then I sit down. And you don't need the beach to do that. I used to do that with my clients in the yoga class, for example, or with my coaching clients through Zoom. So <laughs> you just sit down, you close your eyes, and you can only imagine that you are sitting right in front of the sea or the ocean or maybe a huge lake. You are sitting at the shores. And you close your eyes and you imagine that place exactly as you would like it to be. A great place close to the water where you feel well. And then with your eyes closed, you imagine the smells that's around you. You imagine the temperature of the air touching your skin, moving your hair. You imagine feeling the sunlight on your skin. And you feel the ground under your feet or under your bum if you're sitting. And the ground that supports you. And then with your eyes closed, you imagine that you're looking into this endless, infinite space of the sea, of the ocean, or this huge lake. And slowly, slowly, you can see at the horizon a big sailboat coming into the picture. And you see the sailboat, and it's beautiful. It's one of these old sailboats, you know, with like many, many, many white big sails. And that sailboat is slowly coming towards you. It's coming towards you. It's coming closer to the shore. Until it's really so close, you see the greatness and the, how huge that ship is. And you see how it's putting the anchor into the ground and it's going to stay there for a while. And you see that slowly, slowly, some of the crew is stepping down from this boat into a smaller boat and coming to shore. They're coming towards you. And they're bringing with them a huge, huge, huge wooden box. It looks like one of those old treasure boxes they had in those old times. So imagine they're coming like two sailors or the captain and they're bringing this huge box and they place it right in front of you and they open it and it's empty. And then they invite you to put all your worries and your th maybe unresolved issues from your past your fears, everything that might wake you up in the morning and cause anxiety or cause sadness or cause unhappiness. All those stored emotions, worries, you really don't 
mm, like or you don't find so pleasant, they invite you to put it all there in this huge box, in this huge treasure box. And you start. You start mentally putting all this baggage you carry around into this box. You put it there. It's a box. It's a crate. Whatever you want to imagine. And you keep putting all your stuff there. You are unloading. Hmm? You're getting ready to ship all those stuff away, to send it away. Because you know that you don't need it anymore. And when you're done, when the, you think you've done everything and you've left everything, you've placed everything into that box, you tell them it's okay and they close the heavy lid and they lock it with this huge lock, you know, this iron lock where only they have the key. And once it's locked, they take the key and they throw it away. They throw it out in the sea. And they lift this box onto the snowboat, on the dinky, and they go back to the huge sailboat and they unload it. They put it there. And then they stand there and they start waving to you and they pull in the anchor. And then you see how this huge sailboat is going back to where it came from. And it carries with it your thoughts and your worries and your fears, all your traumas from the past, your past experiences that you don't need anymore. Mm? And it takes them with it far away. And also your thoughts and your emotions and your memories as the big sailboat, they go back to where they came from, into the wide ocean of the universe. Because maybe someone else is out there who is in need of those experiences now? Who needs exactly those thoughts, those emotions to grow, to learn, to become stronger, to evolve? And you're sitting there again at the shore and you notice how this sailboat is going away with the box and your unneeded issues. And it takes it away and slowly, slowly it disappears at the horizon. Ah, uh, and you feel so much lighter. You feel so much lighter. You feel free. You feel like someone took some baggage from your shoulders. And then you can start your day again. And you can stand up and you open your eyes. Ah. And this is a practice I love to do. Maybe because I love the sea, maybe because I love the uh, sailboats. <laughs> but you can use your imagination in any way. So I invite you to try that out. But know that it's not done by doing it one time. Okay, you can do it all the times again when those thoughts are coming back. Okay, sit a little bit with those thoughts. Think about it, whether it comes from why always the same thoughts are coming back. Hmm? And then do those mental, imaginary Mm? These exercises, where you just use your imagination. I'm wishing you all the best. Let me know if that was clear for you or if it works, if it doesn't work. Mm? And maybe you want to do it every single day. Let me know if that helps you, if you need anything else. And I'm wishing you a wonderful day. Thank you. <laughs> oh.